Hi, this is Rick, and you're in the Whiskey Zone, where we celebrate the spirit of the spirit. And today, we're looking at a sherried expression from one of the more northern of Scotland's distilleries. It's the Dalmore 12-year-old Sherry Cask Select from the town of Alness on the shores of the Cromarty Firth in Scotland. If you have had any association with the Scotch whiskey world, there's a better than average chance that you've heard of Richard Patterson. If you haven't, that's okay. But as soon as you finish this video, and not before, you should research him. Why would you want to do that? Well, number one, he's been one of the industry's most prominent ambassadors, and he'll put a smile on your face. Number two, his nickname is The Nose. And number three, has your nose ever been insured by Lloyd's of London for over $2 million? <laughs> anyway, Richard Patterson is also the master blender at the Dalmore, and he's a firm believer in the personality and importance of the cask in the whiskey making process. And for this 12-year-old Highland single malt, Richard Patterson matured it in X bourbon casks and finished it in three different Oloroso sherry casks. It's bottled at 43% ABV, and it has been chill filtered, and there is color added. You can do what you want with that information. The enhanced color is a lovely light mahogany, and it has evidence of some decent oiliness in the glass. Let's see what the nose can reveal. I'm picking up cherries, prune juice, bourbon balls, one of those insect repellents, but one of the good smelling ones, some cola, without naming any specific brand name, and I'm getting some brown sugar. So I'm guessing there will be some sweetness on the palate. As you may know, I do suggest ignoring the first one to dissipate the effects of the alcohol. Rum raisins. Pancake syrup. Maybe that deep, rich, pure maple syrup from Vermont or Maine. Chocolate mousse, but maybe light chocolate. Fermented honey, like mead. Like mead out of a big curved Viking horn. I don't know where that came from. And dried fruit, but maybe toasted dried fruit. <laughs> with its sweetness and 43% ABV, I'm gonna let this one go with no water added. The finish is nice but not especially long. I'm getting a leftover battle between sweet and zing, maybe some slightly singed Seville oranges, stewed prunes, a little bitterness, and a little malt. This one is very easy to drink, and I can understand why people have said good things about it. It's not outrageously priced, and you could share it with practically anybody. I really like it. If I have one reservation, it's that it's not so distinctive that it makes you forget about all the other sherry-influenced whiskeys out there. But if you buy it, you'll like it. I'm giving the Dalmore 12-year-old Sherry Cask Select an eight-finger pour. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Dalmore Sherry Cask Select. If you'd like more details on my review, please visit thewhiskeyzone.com. And while you're here today, if you like what you've seen, I encourage you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. So until next time, please drink smart, stay safe, and we'll see you again in the Whiskey Zone.